welcome back once again in our previous tutorial we design our layout and in this part we will connect this layout so first we need to create a model class so create a model class and create a new class and we can call it data in here we need to add we need to add our all this field so private integer amount that we want to insert our firebase database now private string type private string note private string id and private string date and private string date now we need to create a blank constructor make sure that you added this blank constructor now we need to generate our constructor select all and ok and now we need to generate our getter and setter for all this field so go generator getter and setter select all and ok so our model data is ready now we need to create a new method we can call it public void income data insert and inside this method we need to add our alert dialog so alert dialog dot builder is going to be my dialog is equal to new alert dialog dot builder get activity and layout inflator inflator layout inflator dot from and in here we need to write our layout name so r dot layout dot custom layout for enter data and i think we did a mistake we don't need to write here layout we need to add get activity now we need to create a view and it's going to be my view and in here we need to add inflator dot inflate now we need to add, add our layout so r dot layout dot custom layout for insert data and second parameter is null now my dialog dot set view is going to be my view so we just set our dialog inside our view and now alert dialog dialog is equal to my dialog dot create and now we need to add now we need to add our all input field so edit text edit amount is equal to my view dot find view by id r dot id dot so make sure that we added the object of our view class otherwise you will not be able to get this find view by id so for input type add edit type and add this find view by id and for one more edit text is going to be edit note my view and find view by id r dot id dot not edit and now we need to add a button and we can call it button save is equal to my vm dot find view by id r dot id dot button save and button cancel is going to be find view by id r dot id dot button cancel now we need to add two set on click listeners for button save and button cancel so button save dot set on click listener new on click listener and create a string variable a string type and our edit type dot get text now we would like to store our input data inside this string variable now create another string and this one is for amount and edit amount dot get text dot to string dot trim and one more string variable for our note is going to be edit note dot get text dot to string dot trim now we need to so we store our input data inside this string variable now we need to convert our amount first add a condition so if text utils dot is empty if type is empty then we would like to show a text message and we can call it edit type dot set error we can call it required field because we need to add all this data to store so now if text utils is amount now we need to change edit amount dot set error we can call it required field and for text util dot is empty note is going to be called edit not and set error so we added all these three field now we need to convert our amount because amount should be integer so we need to change this to integer so we can call it integer 
our amount integer dot parse int is going to be amount so now we change this string value to integer now we need to add our firebase database so we can call it private firebase auth amount private and database reference private database reference is going to be m income database and private database reference is going to be m expense database and now open this dashboard fragment and inside the dashboard fragment we need to add m auth is equal to firebase auth dot get instance and firebase user m user m auth dot get current user now string uid is going to be m user dot get uid and now m income database is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child so inside our dashboard fragment we set our and at the end of the child we need to add our uid because we want to add unique unique data for unique user so this way we can separate our user data now expand database is equal to firebase database dot get instance dot get reference dot child we can call it expense data dot child and is going to be uid so inside this expand database we will have a our user id then we will store our data so we create firebase auth we, we, we separate our firebase user and we add this data now we need to set this data so inside this income database and we need to call this method to our income floating button and now button cancel dot set on click listener new on click listener and for this one we need to dismiss our dialog so dialog dot dismiss and in here we need to show dialog dot show so i think all this functionality done now hit this run button now if we click this button we can see our floating action button and click this income button and we can see our custom input field and now close and close but now if we click this close button we can't we can't uh, we can see we still we can see our two floating action button but it should be gone so we need to solve this so we need to solve this design issue and in our next part we will solve this design issue